you know, I realize we should I realize now we should have queued up the theme song. Um, which we didn't do, but that's okay, folks. This is a special one. Theme songless issue crew. Welcome to the issue crew, folks. It's quick fix month. The show where we all have issues both with our lives and with each other, but not in the month of July, because we're talking about quick fixes, baby. And it's a special episode, because here I am, I'm Riley. I'm the only member of the issue crew with you today, but I'm on video, you may have noticed, is a different detail than usual. Um, with me, of course, is a guest in studio. Uh, we are recording this here in her fine home in Ohio that I have traveled to. Uh, one Alex Kolochu. Howdy, howdy. And we're here to talk about some quick fixes on this special video episode. And we got to talk about who won last time is the thing we got to do. Okay. Which is nobody, which means you're breaking the tie out of all the issue, or all the quick fixes on the list. You make the decision right now. Let's see what your contenders are. Let's see if I can pick someone who's not yours. You don't get to know who they're from. You just get to know what the quick yeah, fix that's, is. Yeah, that, that's the point. That's <laughs> what I did last time I showed up, is I tried to pick one that wasn't yours. It was, okay, so the quick fixes at hand are unexpected gifts, prep time, pizza, the one good game a year, the 1988 Mercury Topaz, and Weather Wizards. Let's go with pizza. That was me, boys! Quick fix winner! It really is a quick fix, you know, you're hungry? You just throw Fucking it in the oven. pizza. And microwave that shit it's like the most and even like if you wanted to eat out it's the most cost effective way for a family to eat out too you get a pizza for like 16 bucks you feed a family of four and it's More like a nice less, event yeah. and it's More like wow less. pizza it's it's it brings our nation together I, I don't know why i'm selling it more i've already won so congratulations to me for pizza uh but folks that's it for last week now we gotta talk about this week I don't have any voicemails or anything or any other things to do. How, how you doing, Alex? We tend to have a little bit of small talk before we get into our quick fixes. How you feeling this fine uh, Monday morning we're recording on? That might be why we have no votes, because this is nine hours earlier than we usually tally them. <laughs> Didn't it? We're recording a week later, though. But it comes out. It only came out on Saturday. Why don't you do, like, the Saturday? We could move it up now. It's kind of just like... No, why don't you upload, record Monday, upload Tuesday or Wednesday, so then you have a majority of the week to get the votes in. Well... If it goes up now, Saturday, you're only giving people Saturday and Sunday before you record the next episode. Well, now it's kind of a set in our ways thing. We probably could move it up. It's just that it feels... that it's It's been the schedule for a while. It was originally because of Jason, because there used to be like high quality editing that went into the visuals and shit um and it would take him days to get it done so we had to put them on saturdays for that reason we tried to we tried to get him to move them up to fridays uh when we first made the switch and he said he probably couldn't do it and then just by the time by the time he had left the project i i was just so used to it coming out on saturday that i didn't even think about it i probably should move it up you're only giving people two days to respond it's not a lot of time that's true and think of at least five days would get you more votes. I think the thing about this week too is the the, the views are down because I think uh, I think our butterfly effect review kind of snaked the main episode because it came out on the same day and that one has like forty views and the main show has like ten. <laughs> People like butterfly effect, I guess they want to hear what Ashton Kutcher was up to in two thousand four. It was a good movie. It was, it was a pretty really good. good movie. Last night was a good movie, too. Oh, yeah, we watched Road Trip, and I missed the last third. You didn't miss much. I missed a pretty decent amount. I was on and off. A bunch of kids go on a road trip, and some silly shenanigans happen. It's your classic classic 2000s road trip movie. Classic, classic film. Pretty good. Good bits. I enjoyed myself. But we're not here for that. We're here for Issue Crew. Issue Crew. Quick fix month edition. So it's time to talk about some quick fixes, folks. And I suppose I have to go first because the guest has to go last. So here's my first quick fix. 
and I think it's the the biggest quick fix ever. I think it's over. I'm going to hit you with this one, and nothing else is going to matter for the rest of Quick Fix Month. The rest of this episode, the rest of next week's episode, probably the next one too. I don't know how weeks work. I don't know if it'll still be July the week after that. But that's okay, folks. My quick fix. Dogs. Dogs? Dogs. All right. Dogs. Literally the best thing. Just anywhere ever for any purpose. You got dogs. They're just hanging out. And they're such they're such good boys. They're so cute. They're so fluffy. They run around. They're stupid. And that's funny. And they just they bring a sense of happiness in you that you that you can't get anywhere else. I see a dog, instant improvement to my mood. Immediate. Hundred percent of the time. Look at a dog, I'm like, oh, look at that dog over there. It's great. Is the best thing. Man's best friend, they say. Also, there's service dogs. People are like, you know, got PTSD and shit. Get a service dog. Helps them out. That's a good boy right there. Police dog. Military dog. They had all sorts of dogs doing all sorts of crazy shit. And they're all awesome. Because dogs are the best. Better than humans. I think most would agree. Dogs, best. Just best species. I'm going to play devil's advocate a little bit. Okay, okay. I feel like there's there are the good let's say uh, did you know uh, dogs are the third deadliest animal to humans? Oh yeah, because those guys are bad. Dogs are responsible for around 30,000 human deaths per year. Yeah, dogs, you know. What about those 30,000 people? This is not a solution to them. Yeah, but this they, was a huge. This is a huge problem. The sacrifice we had to make, okay. <laughs> Third deadliest animal to humans. Yeah, because we're around him all the time, and sometimes you're gonna piss him off because you're not good, nice to them, and you're mean to them, and you abuse them, and they fucking fight back. But that sounds like a problem. The third deadliest animal to humans. And here's the solution: fucking treat them better, assholes. All those videos you see of fucking dogs getting thrown in gutters, getting abused and shit. Fucking, yeah, that's why that's happening. Also, some of them just get pissed, and you know, that's the, that's the animal kingdom. You can't tame them all, is the unfortunate reality. What the hell? Do you think dogs should be outlawed? Because the they're the third most deadly human dog creature that kills people? <laughs> that sentence didn't make any sense, what I just Two, said. Three, four. You know, you want to know the top 10 deadliest animals worldwide? Let's by hear annual it. annual number of human deaths as Let's of hear 2022. It. I want to know. Uh, number 10 is hippopotamuses. Yeah, those guys, assholes. Makes sense, right? I hear. Tapeworms at 700 deaths per year. That tracks. Hippopotamuses had 500. Crocodiles at 1,000. They do be eating you. Uh, as scarce roundworms are at 2,500. Round worms. Setsy, TSE, TSE flies are at 10,000. Uh, <laughs> assassin bugs are at 12,000. Oh. 12,000? What is an assassin bug? I don't know what the fucking assassin what the bug is. Fuck 12,000 people. Assassin bug. I gotta know about this. What the hell is this thing? What the fuck? What are you looking at? What the hell is this thing? Whoa. What the fuck is that? Do you have visuals up? No, I don't have visuals up. Show the people I don't this. Have Holy shit. Visuals. It's fine. The, the visuals don't even have any logos, I don't think. Even then, I don't care. You do a show called Detour Head. You might see a logo for it. Wait. What Holy the fuck, fuck is fuck. this thing? That thing is a nightmare. What the hell? They, these things are killing 12,000 people? Or was it 1,200? 12,000. Holy shit. 12,000 people die from this every year. Oh my god. 
Where are they? North America. Here? In the US? Just hanging out? Oh shit, you could die from this. Assassinating bugs? Assassin bugs live in the bottom two thirds of the United States and also live in Latin and South America. Oh my god. Why are they called assassin bugs? The assassin bug is named so because it because of its ambush like way of hunting its prey. Oh, okay. So it's like an assassin. It's like a ninja. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so assassin bugs. Killing 12,000 people. That's good. Take a wild guess at what killed 20,000 people. Is it dogs? Dogs was 30,000. Oh, shit. What's in between assassin bugs and dogs? It's what not do you think? Cats, is it? No, cats, cats aren't, aren't even on here, people. actually. Uh, lions, tigers, bears. Lions are right below uh, hippopotamuses and elephants. Okay. What could possibly be in between assassin bugs and dogs? 20,000 people. Hmm. Try not to leave the pause too pregnant, but you know, I'm just take to... a guess. Fuck, I'm really trying to think of what it could possibly be, though. Like, logically, what would interact with humans so much that you're it not could gonna, get oh, that let's high? Let's put it this way you're count. not going to get it. I know fucking monkeys, boat up monkeys, freshwater snails. The fuck? Freshwater snails kill 20,000 a year, then dogs with 30,000, then snakes with 100,000, and mosquitoes with a million. Holy shit. Dogs are just as bad as freshwater snails, snakes, and mosquitoes. Yeah, but they're good boys. They're good floofy boys. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see how the voting goes with this because I I don't... You know, how many, you know how many human lives dogs have saved? Much more than they've killed, I think. Just whether it's whether it's in in the line of service or whether it's just by being a good boy there for a man who needs him. Dogs save all of our lives every day, except for the ones that they kill. But the the, the rest of them, you know. Oh, see, I can't look that up though. Yeah, that's kind of a it's a hard statistic to define, but I think the dogs are saving lives every single day. Every single day. We'll see how the voting turns out. You telling me you, you have a family dog? You have a family dog. You love your family dog. Yeah, but if he snaps and kills me like in Zootopia, <laughs> he'll do it in an instant. He's a good boy though. He wouldn't. They're animals. So many dogs aren't are just good boys. They would never do that. They're animals. Some of them are, get pissed off, but not. Yeah, all I of get them. pissed off too, but I have the cognitive ability to not. Take knives and start throwing them across so this fucking the, table. So what's the solution here? Should we ban dogs? Dogs were the solution, apparently, according to you. Yes, but what, if you think dogs are a problem, should we not have dogs? You're arguing whether they're not a solution. Should we not have them at all? Or did, quick fix, by the way, not solution. I need to stop saying that. Uh, quick fix. Why not solution? This is called quick fix. Uh, Why not solution? For, you know, copyright reasons. Uh Me too. This is not funny anymore. You're dragging it out too much. Against who? Who who has a copyright on solutions? Uh, somebody named Deez, I think. Okay, see, you ruined the fucking joke. <laughs> All right, what's what's? Am I? Are we doing back and forth, or are we doing two and two? Back and forth. Uh, but yeah, you know, dogs. It's very very good. Very good. Some people die. People die from a lot of things that are solutions. I bet you cars kill more people than dogs every every year. Cars, we get we deal with cars every day. Cars aren't even cute. We don't get to pet them, and have them go arf arf. Yeah, you're right. Thirty thousand people die a, a year in the world. Oh. And then we're at 43,000 fatal car crashes a year just in the U.S. alone. That's right. That's right. Dogs are good, and you should have them. Some people will die. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs>
some of you may die. <laughs> All right, Alex, hit us with a fucking quick fix. Shoes. 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 Are you, you ever walk shoes? on rocks? Yes. Fucking hurts. True. Put put some shoes on. Put some shoes on. <laughs> Are you wearing shoes right now? No, because I'm on carpet. But if I go walk around in the grass, don't want your. You go walk around in the grass, and the grass is wet. You don't want your feet to get wet. Put some shoes on. You don't want wet socks. Put some. Put put shoes on. Wet socks are a problem, but I hate shoes. What's wrong with shoes? I don't want to put them on. Why? Because I like my feet to be free. Yeah, but you're up in Ohio right now. There's nails and shit everywhere. Broken glass. <laughs> if you step on a nail, you could get tetanus and die. Didn't you tell me to walk outside onto the grass without my shoes on? That was something you said I should There's do. There's no broken glass out there. Oh, okay. okay. It's in the street because people drink and drive and toss the bottles out the car. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Shoes. I mean... Shoes are a huge quick fix they're pretty practical they're they're pretty practical they protect application. your feet. it's one of the earliest inventions that we've ever had is and put, put shit on our feet so we don't if the issue crew audience knows anything about me is that i love feet so i would hate for them to be damaged and shoes are there to protect them if you get a rusty nail in your foot they could their tetanus could get it cut off and then, yeah. then no more feet and no more feet there you go see you you can't argue this and yes, I did tell you to go out back and to go touch grass with your feet, but that's because you got to get reconnected to the earth. Yes, which is some like spiritual girl shit you believe in, I guess. It's on the similar plane as crystals. Crystals are bullshit. Uh, okay, so you be don't believe in crystals, but you believe in nature becoming one. Yes. Okay, okay. You don't have rocks? You're not one of them bitches with them rocks? No. No rocks. No rocks. There's a rock in there, but it's not a crystal. It's not crystals, okay? Crystals is a different thing. Crystals is like fucking Wiccan shit. All the weird white chicks have not rocks. Really. Crystals are made by they Mother Nature, around their and little they rocks. can have certain make you feel good. They carry around the little rocks, and they have their little rocks with them all the time. And if you touch their little rocks, they get offended that you touch their little rocks. Because you tainted it, and then they have to go repurify it. <laughs> they go repurify the rocks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> get their rocks off. You put some water outside under the moon, and then in the morning, you go and take it, and now you have moon water. Okay. Okay. Maybe and these. And then are... you use the moon water to purify your rocks. Okay. Cleanse them of anything bad that has touched them, like you. If you only have one rock, you don't have rocks, you have rock. I have one rock here. I'll go fucking get it. Yeah, give me, get, get the rock. Show the audience your white girl rock. Alex has left the room. And this is where I get to tell you again to vote up dogs because they're f cute and fluffy. And, you know, we love them. We love Alex for coming on the show today. He's got a rock, folks. One of those little. It's a nice rock. See, yeah, it is a nice rock. It has, it's just a fucking rock. Yeah, okay. So you you have like a. Not manly, but like normal in a sort of. I have way a normal of, people rock. Normal people rock. Yeah, there's a, there's a difference between no, how normal people perceive rocks and how white women perceive rocks. Where normal people it's will be a like, smooth rock. Normal people will be like, check out this sick rock, um, and white girls will be like, oh, these rocks, they just really, they bring me a sense of tranquility and peace. These rocks that I carry with me in my little rock. It's just smooth. <laughs> it's a smooth oval rock. That's all. I don't remember where I got it. To be completely honest with you, but I'm not gonna get rid of it. I tried to keep. Ro I always keep like the rough, ra rugged rocks. I'm like that shit looks cool. No, you gotta go for the smooth. Half ones. the rocks I kept as a kid were probably pieces of broken concrete. Probably. I, I was so fascinated by just like look at like the the gray and the white and all jagged and it's cool. Rocks are cool. Shoes are you just pretty, don't want to believe in pretty spiritual cool. bullshit. Shoes, also pretty cool. Some they of them protect your feet. Shoes, shoes. Some of them. You lose your feet, you're in a wheelchair. Then you don't have any. They shoes. all protect your feet. Some of them make them look good. You got nice shoes you can get. 
nice business shoes. Even with the people who have their legs amputated, they still put shoes on the They put shoes on the prosthetic leg, put shoes on their plastic little leg. And it helps you walk, too. Shoes. You're right. Pretty big, pretty big quick fix. I don't know if it's bigger than dogs, but it's a pretty big quick fix. Well, I mean. Alex. Are you about to look up how many people do shoes kill a year? <laughs> Five. <laughs> Let's look this up. What could it be, folks? How many people do you think? Leave in the comments before she finds the answer. How many shoes kill? How many people get killed by shoes a year? Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh, let me switch this over. So. My quick fix is older than yours by tens of thousands of years. Oh, the way older than dogs? There were shoes before there were dogs? The earliest known pair the earliest known pair of shoes is believed to date back to seven thousand or eight thousand BCE. When did dogs? My, oh, I might be retarded. Yeah, dogs are all the time, forever. Dog domestication happened between 12,000 and 15,000 years ago. Okay, so I am retarded. Yeah, fuck you. I am retarded. It is close, though. Load up dogs. It is close. If you're looking at that lower range of 12,000, mm -hmm. and you're looking at the higher range of 8,000 BCE, that's about a 2,000-year difference of shoes and dogs. Dogs are better. You know what else is better than shoes? Are you done? Uh, I don't think I say? can argue it anymore. It's like the wet socks problem. I don't. I don't think it is. I think the wet socks problem is so self-evident. Shoes, they themselves can be annoying sometimes. You ever wear an uncomfortable pair of shoes? No. You ever wear a pair of shoes that kind of scraped against your toe? No. And it made your toe hurt? No. Because I've had that happen before. Because you have big fucking feet. Yeah, and so do a lot of people. This is a big problem for us where we have shitty shoes and it rubs against our toes. And it's it not the makes shoes our toes fault. It's sore. the manufacturer's fault for not making shoes for people like you. You're right. But so it's the shoe manufacturers that the problem. It's not the shoes. But the total amount of shoes includes that those shoes. So they contribute to total shoe... I'm going to take that microphone away. I bumped into it. I had to fix it. It didn't move any f anywhere. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't, Don't touch it. it. Why do you say? Stop, Stop touching, touching your microphone. microphone. Okay. If that squeaks, it will pick up through the microphone. Oh, bother. What's your, what's your next thing? You guys ever been at home and you're like, shit. This place where I live sucks. Is gay. I go to work. I go home. I'm in this place that I'm in, and it's gay and it's stupid, and I don't want to be here right now. I got a big quick fix for you. Travel. You ever just want to be in your life and then just be like, fuck this shit for a few days? Just get on a fucking little jet plane or get in a little fucking bus. And you go off. You go off somewhere else to do something else. And it's like, yeah. Home, gay. Why are you using gay as a pejorative? So I'm going to go not home instead. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go somewhere else, see someone else, do something else. It's going to be a nice mix-up. You know, your environment around you, sometimes it's stupid. So you don't want to be in it. So just don't. For Why are you using thing. gay as like a negative thing? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> don't you fucking worry about what I'm saying over here. I don't know. I think traveling is a little overrated. Do you? Could it be due to a neurotic level of OCD that uh, will freak you out when you're in a new environment? I don't like going to new places. Why? Are you talking like traveling to a next city over? Or are you talking the full full on? Maybe it could be to a different city. Maybe it could be to a different state. Just do some traveling. Change your environment. I feel like that's too broad. I feel like that's too broad. No, no, no. It's like me take saying clothes are a solution. You could All say that. If you put it on your body, it's a it's a piece of you clothing. You could say that. I said the clothes were a problem. 
on large old largest issue. Of course, you said clothes were a problem. Yeah, clothes suck. I was like a kid back then. I was just saying that I don't want to wear them. Now I don't want other people to wear them. If you catch my drift. <laughs> little too on the nose there <laughs> um i don't know traveling can be expensive though not a lot of people can travel so how is that a solution for the people that can't do it it doesn't have to be a solution for everybody what if you don't have a car well then take a plane how are you gonna get there get a friend to drive you take an uber what if you don't have friends take an uber well if you don't have any money well, then you can't travel. You need money to so travel. So it's not a solution to it's not, stick it stuck Sometimes you need a solution. Sometimes the solution requires other things put into it. That doesn't make it not a solution. Yeah, yeah but there are people that fix. can't travel at all. Yeah. Handicapped. And that's not what these people, that, that's what this cancer is about. Cancer kids? It's not a solution for cancer kids. Fucking chemo. Children with cancer? Chemo is a solution for kids with cancer, but it's not a solution for fucking Fred down the street. He doesn't have cancer. What's chemo going to do for him? Nothing, but it's still a solution. Mm. <laughs> I feel like you're being too pedantic here. <laughs> you're the one being pedantic. I don't know about that. There's so much pedanticism going on. Pedanticness. I don't, I don't think, think that it's a very big, big situ solution. Solution, unless you're going to a completely brand new place. Me going from Cleveland to Columbus, that's not that big of a solution. Okay, so the, yeah, I'm talking about that too. All sorts of traveling. Just change your environment. Go to fucking, you go to Columbus, you go to fucking Zimbabwe. Just, you know, go somewhere else for a while. Yeah, but when you travel to new places, especially new countries, like if you'd go and travel to Africa, you could get, you could die. Just don't go there then. Planes will kill you. That's happened sometimes, but less than cars, though. Yeah, but even then, it's the safest you have to way to travel. Car. Planes, safest way to travel. Yeah, but cars will kill you more than planes. Any, all of this transportation for traveling will kill you. So get on a plane. Take a plane. Planes. I almost the just safest place, place you could be. I almost is just in your brought. Home. I almost just brought in planes, but I I thought the travel would be a better way to. The safest come, place come to be is in your own home. That's gay. You don't want to be there. Why are you using gay like that? I don't like you using gay like that. But why? Because. I always do. What are you it's fucking like talking it's about? It's like retarded. Yeah. We say that all the time. Yeah, yeah but, but gay, gay is different. different. How? You're not supposed to use gay in a negative way. You aren't supposed to use retarded in a... In a I was about to say you aren't supposed to use retarded in a gay way. You aren't supposed to use retarded in that way either, but you do. But we do. Because I'm not retarded. I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm gonna call Demi up and see, and see her get her opinion. No, because it's gonna echo again. <laughs> no, we'll just mute your mic, and it'll be a conversation between Demi and I. Oh boy. We mute your microphone, and it only comes, and then I'll have shit go through my head. Not gonna call Demi we'll... again. That was a drunk Riley decision. She's probably asleep. Yeah, you probably woke her up. Not last night, but I'd say this morning. I would never wake Demi Gloom up. She needs her sleep. She needs some rest. I don't know. What 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 about what more about traveling? Is like your little quick fix. Because we're not doing solutions and we're doing quick fixes. I swear to God, if you start saying some fucking pedantic shit about particular definition of the word quick fix. I'm going to fucking jump over Traveling this desk. isn't really a quick fix. It takes you a while to get places. Gonna That's gonna not jump, a quick fix. I'm going to jump over this fucking desk, bro. It's a quick fix. You probably couldn't even clear this desk. Quick fix is subjective. Do you know how okay? to jump? Is quick enough. It's not quick, but it's quick enough. Not really. It takes a very long time for certain people to get the money to be able to travel. <laughs> It takes a very long time for people to be able to travel. Well, how long did it take you to get enough money to come up here? Not as long as you would think. Yeah, but how long? Not like a month or two or something. Oh, okay. So you had to wait a month or two before you were able to come up here. I'm going to fucking... That's not a quick I'm gonna, fix. I'm deleting this podcast. I'm taking the week off. I'm making the rest of them do it. I'll end, the, I'll end it right now. <laughs> I'm trying to kill bit. time because we're only 30 in. But you're doing it with fucking techniques that I don't like that upset me. 
You're upsetting me. How dare you? How dare you do I'm this? I'm supposed thing? to argue it, against you. you I'm supposed to argue my, for my shit. You come into my podcast. You come into my and studio. Bring in my quick fixes. Into and my fucking... studio and argue pedanticism. You're arguing pedanticism. You're the pedanticist. <laughs> You're the pedant pedanter. So. You're the pedanter. And I'm not a an innocent victim in this. Oh, okay. You people always want to claim the victim. All right. <laughs> I'm being it's, your, it's your normal role is abuse and victimhood. I'm being abused. This is this is un You deserve to be abused for this problem. No, this solution. This Anthony. quick fix. No. No. Alright, my last one is uh Pokemon. Oh. Fuck you, but okay, keep going. <laughs> uh, it's one of the top grossing games really in the world. It's a nationwide, it's been around for 25 years. That sounds like a, a pretty good uh, quick fix for the Pokemon Company International. How's it a good quick fix for me? For you? For me. You ever for, get bored? For me, the like, general. Yeah, let's pick up Pokemon. Oh, I need something to do. Let's go run a Nuzlocke for fun. Yeah, oh, you know? I need something to do with friends. Let's go run a draft league. But how many people are really into that kind of shit? A lot of people think it's gay and not good. Yeah, but a lot of people will also go and say shiny hunting is gay, but that's brought millions of dollars to a whole bunch of people over on Twitch. And I mean, I mean gay in the real way, because kids would say that back in the day in school, that it made you homosexual genuinely somehow to be into Pokemon. Yeah, but now Pokemon is beloved by many. It's true. I the, very rarely do I meet people who say I hate Pokemon. What is a Pikachu? I've never heard of him. Pokemon Go. To Pokemon the polls Go. and vote for Hillary Clinton. Pokemon Go got people out of their houses for probably some people the first time ever to go and get exercise while wow. playing Pokemon. Wow. Pokemon Sleep has tracks your sleep and you can actually get good. You can go get, get good sleep through it. Revolutionary. Pokemon Shuffle, great game. Pokemon great Snap. game. Pokemon Snap, you can great take game. pictures and you can learn about photography. I gotta play the new one. I've owned it for like over a year now and I've just never played it. I did 15 minutes. <laughs> it looks so cool though. I don't know why I don't want to play it. Pokemon has taken over the... You got like a little Vegeta hair going on over here. Yeah, I'm aware. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> Unless I put a hat on. You're turning Super Saiyan. My hair's already blonde. Uh -huh. Um, Pokemon has taken over the personalities of millions of people to where that's pretty much their main thing. It's created friendships. True. True. You and the neighbor kid growing up, you guys... You learn that they bo you both like Pokemon, so now you're playing Pokemon together. You're trading. Yep. You're getting Pokemon. You're, sometimes other. you're playing Pokemon with your cousin, um, and you offer to train a Pokemon for him, and you trade him your starter um, for the temporary trade because you're just kind of clicking on a Pokemon and not thinking because the idea is that eventually this exchange will just go right in reverse, and then your cousin steals your starter Pokemon. Sometimes that happens. I'd say that's not a quick fix when that happens. Me being into Pokemon has created this entire everything that That's I That's true. That is where it all if began. I never liked Pokemon, I would have never, we would have never been friends. Because you never would have found Pokemon Variety Hour, the podcast on which you became introduced to me and my little Exactly. World. I would have never gotten into podcasting. I wouldn't learn about Dick Masterson. True. I wouldn't have made friends with you, Gingy, Penguin, and Without Pokemon, else. that medallion behind you, it would just be Sonic. It wouldn't exist without Pokemon. No. Or maybe it would be a Digimon. Maybe it would be Agu Sonic. Sonomon. Sonomon. <laughs> Sonomon. I think Pokemon is one of those things where it's going to be around for a while. And even if for some reason next year they decide, yeah, we're, we're fucking we're bankrupt. We're done. It's over. Pokemon will still be around no matter what. There's such a huge following with the just TCG tournaments, collecting cards. That would literally, Pokemon as a franchise could never die. Even if like Game Freak and Pokemon Company International went under, it would just be the onus of Nintendo to give Pokemon to their like 
second string dev studios and be like make a game and they would because it prints money even if they <laughs> just stop making games they're just like you know what fuck everybody else and fuck you we hate pokemon now pokemon ever dead they're still gonna people are still going to play the games that's fair that's they're fair. still gonna introduce Jinji and his kid his kids into pokemon now because of Jinji. it is a generational thing now or it is currently becoming a generational thing when Passing parents have when par when millennial and gen z kids or when millennials have par uh have kids there's like a little tradition of you put you put the squirtle the bulbasaur and the charmander in front of them and you have your kid crawl over to them and pick what pick their first starter something that all of us have ex experienced for the first time i can see that i, I want to see a sketch where it's a whole community that brings people closer together. Uh, but here's a sketch idea. So you have a kid who do, who his father has him do that. Um, and then you like cut to five years later. It's a five-year-old kid and he's playing Pokemon for the first time. And he picks like Bulbasaur when he had picked Squirtle before. Um, and the father's like, what are you doing? And like it just <laughs> it becomes this whole like exchange where the father's like pissed because this destiny that he chose as an infant is not coming true. <laughs> it's not even a destiny. It's just something fun to do. We've all had to pick our very first starter ever. What was your first starter? Chimchar. Mine would have had to be Torchic. It's your first starter, and it's intri intrinsically linked to you. That's true. It is a memory that you will hold until you die. Is the very first time you ever played Pokemon. I had Chimchar. He was he was the best boy for a while, and then my cousin stole him, so I had to use a Haunter instead. And that Haunter was cool. I liked him. It's funny because that Haunter's infamous now because it was that Haunter, you know, the Haunter from the trade. It's in uh, Snow Point City, I believe, or in some surrounding area to Snow Point City. There's a chick who will trade you a Haunter for a Medicham. And all the kids who knew what that new things were like, oh, Haunter evolves when you trade him, so she's gonna give me a Haunter, and then I'm gonna get, a, in, and then I'm gonna get a Gengar. I thought that was in Fire Red and Leaf Green. No, this is in Diamond and Pearl, uh, and Platinum. Uh, so, he she gives you a Haunter, and you're like, oh, he's gonna evolve, and he doesn't evolve, and then she's like, aha, uh -huh, he was holding an Everstone, and he doesn't evolve, and that's the bit. That's how they teach you about Everstones. They troll you. Uh, and but that Haunter, I loved Haunter so much because of the anime that I decided to train that Haunter up to a ridiculously high level to spend like fucking tens and tens of hours grinding until he was like level 75 or some shit um, and then just like destroy the whole game. And then eventually I had a friend who helped me with the trade evolution. So he became a Gengar um, and he was my he basically became my partner Pokemon because my cousin stole my starter. Um, and he was the first, and I believe so far, only Pokemon I've ever organically leveled to level 100. I'm just saying, Pokemon, it's a quick fix. You, you're you're looking, right. You're, you're looking, looking for something to do. You got nothing else to do. You're sitting around. You've watched all your YouTube videos. You're all caught up on all your YouTubers. You, you can't find a show to watch. For me, that's never the case. I do bit. always have like six. Pokemon Clover? My podcast playlist. So what started is, my entire YouTube channel. My podcast playlist is always like has like sixty things in it though. I never run out of that. Yeah, but a lot of people don't listen to podcasts though. That's true, but they're they're not enlightened like I am. I'm big brain. There's pl cute little plushies you can give as birthday gifts. That's true. There are cute little other. plushies. Pokemon is good. It's nice to have somebody here who cares about Pokemon. The issue crew is just full of people who don't give a rat's ass about Pokemon, and it's frankly disgusting. Yeah, there are a lot of people that don't really like Pokemon at all, and it's probably because they just didn't get into it as a kid, but... Moside Gaming, not a Pokemon fan. Kang... But Pokemon is slowly Too much Call of Duty, Kang playing gay-ass fucking thing. shooter games. Kang, Kang, you motherfucker, turn down your mic, you loud piece of shit, you fucking noise, not have you noise on the mic... Fucker, Kang. I love you, Kang. You got the Pokemon anime. If you're True. For stuff to watch. Good show. Good show. You got. They're making movies. There's live events going everywhere. The music for Pokemon is great. There's so the manga. 
Pokemon has infiltrated literally everything you could possibly think of. The Pokemon Adventures manga, bro, legitimately a good manga. There's so much. There's, there's like an endless. It's Pokemon shoes. Pokemon shoes. There Pokemon sure shoes. fucking is. There's no Pokemon traveling. Pokemon tra There is. There's no you, Pokemon dogs. You use fly. There, there, there are plenty of Pokemon dogs. Not not in the real world for people. But you can catch them in the, in the Pokemon video game or get Pokemon cards of them and be like, look at that cute dog. Rockruff. Cute dog. Luciana. Cute dog. Those are some cute dogs. Fucking that little cinnamon bun fucker the, from the new game. What's he called? Fido. Fido. Good. He evolves into Doxbun. He evolves into Doxbun. Doxbun, very good dog. Big fan of Doxbun. Just saying, I think I think this. Hound Hour. Good dog. I think, I think this hits it out of the park, just like Wet Socks, in terms of your quick fixes. You're right. Pokemon's great. Vote for Pokemon. I'm kind of pissed you took Pokemon. I, I should have brought that in. See, yeah, I was originally gonna do duct tape just because I'm I'm not creative and I'm looking around and I'm like, no. I'll you have duct tape it. on your desk and you're like, that's a pretty big quick fix, I think. It is a quick. We, we could, could do, do a third, third one. one. You want to do a third one? I can bullshit a third one. Talk about duct tape. You have to go in a row though, because I have to think for a second. Okay. Duct tape. Broken. Broken. Fix it. We should be writing these down, by the way. Holy shit. I forgot all about that because we're in the same room just doing doing air stuff. Duct tape is the number one quick fix. Okay, what were our what were our quick fixes real quick before we talk about duct tape? What are, what do we got so far? Shoes, traveling, Pokemon, duct tape. And oh. Dogs. It was dogs first. Dogs. Then it was shoes. Then it was Traveling. Then Pokemon and duct tape. Pokemon. Is Alex. Duct tape. Was also Alex. All right, Alex, tell me all about quick fix and stuff with duct tape. You ever broke something? happened on occasion yeah how do you fix it maybe some glue maybe some hmm what, what, what can we use don't, don't be pedantic hmm don't, don't be pedantic you grab the, you grab the roll of duct tape you tape it together i don't actually usually have duct tape usually when something breaks it either is just broken or maybe i have some glue how do you how do you fix the chair that you broke don't chair's over so you just buy another one. Let's get a new chair. Duct tape costs two dollars. But I don't think it'll hold. I don't think duct tape is as powerful as you may give it credit for. It before. is the purest yeah. definition of the quick fix. You cannot argue that it's not. It is the purest. Right. I suppose you are correct. I suppose. It is the purest definition of a quick fix. I guess an even more pure pure form of a quick fix is forget about it. Just forget, forget about it. You, you got, got a problem? Forget about it. Forget about it. That's, That's probably, probably the best quick fix. Oh, I should have brought forget about it in. Anyway, I'm going to stick with duct tape. If you have a routine for forget about it, you can just bring it in. Sometimes we just fucking bring in shit because we feel like it. What did you forget about it? Just forget about it. You, you got, got a problem? Pro well, my, my, my whole argument, argument for that one is... We'll put, we'll put it on the poll Just forget for fun. About Just forget about it. Just forget about it. It's the easiest Who cares? solution. You have, Who cares? Some, you have something, care. some terrible thing going on in your life. Just fucking... Just forget about, forget it. about it. Trump gets shot. Just forget about yeah, it. Yeah, just fucking... Not a problem anymore. Got shot. Who cares? Forget about it. It didn't even happen. Shot? What? He hit his head. He got tired and he fell and he hit his head. And a piece of his your ear... Your microphone's not working? Fell forget off. You got audio problems? Forget about it. Hope your co-host has autism. Not... Forget about it. <laughs> I do have autism. It's true. I can uh, go on and on. Forget about that. No shoes? shoes? Forget about it. Forget about. It. Forget about. It. You don't, don't like Pokemon? Pokemon? Forget, forget about them. them. Forget about them. Uh, you got a friend who doesn't like Pokemon? Forget about them. Get, get rid of them. Yeah, get rid of them. Don't need those friends. The issue crew gone. 
You don't, you don't, have, you don't have dogs? Have. Forget about it. You don't need them. Forget about them. Don't need them. The fuck? Oh, there was a weird noise out there. It sounded fucking care. It sounded like forget it was about it. coming from a speaker. Yeah, I'll just forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the <laughs> easiest <laughs> solution. <laughs> I think, I think that's, that's pro. pro you could probably get rid of duct tape and just put just forget about it. No, no, they're all going on the pole, and I'm gonna fucking bullshit out a couple. You know what? You know what? I really, I'm making it a bit, okay? Now that we're j just shooting issues out of our, our quick fixes out of our ass, um, it, it was kind of like a fake bit that I was gonna bring in a food solution every week, um, but now it's kind of coming to pass because when I'm trying to think of issues to rattle off or quick fixes rather, one that's coming to mind, one that I've really learned the utility and power of this week. Is ice pops, bro. You're hot. Ice, ice pops. pops, ice pops, bro. You're hot. You need, maybe you're hot. Maybe you need something cold, or maybe you just want a snack. Ice pops. It is a quick fix. You get a nice ice pop, nice and refreshing snack to enjoy. Not very caloric, very cheap. Ice pops. Ice pops. Freeze pops, ice comes pops, in, popsicles. Comes in, come in several flavors. Enjoyable fruit flavors for me yeah, and you. Like red, blue. Nice snack. Light green, dark green. Give it to your kid. All the flavors. Give it to yourself. Give orange, it to your wife. Yellow. Yellow flavor, orange flavor. Yeah. Uh, green flavor, of course. Red. We all love red flavor. Yeah. What's your favorite Gatorade? Mm, green. Thank you. Uh, if they, if anybody ever responds to what's your favorite Gatorade with the actual flavor of the Gatorade, they're a cop. Cop, got it. I like the Mountain Breeze. Get out of my house. Get out of my house, Fed boy. <laughs> Good morning. Blue. Good morning, federal agent. <laughs> it's blue, red. You say the color, but what if there's different color? Light blue, dark blue, original blue. You say the original color. Original blue. Yeah, everybody knows original blue. It's yeah, the blue. Everybody knows about blue. Bro, this fly has been in your house for longer than a fly should live. Oh, I'm sorry. I killed seven of them last night. Oh, so there's just a bunch of them? Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. I've never had flies in this house. In this house. You come in here, seven fucking flies. They're all circling, circling around over in the kitchen, too. And I know it's not because of food. Because I've been taking the garbage out, so we got I gotta figure that out. So I got my dry shampoo over here. Nice. I'll spray the shit out of them. There's probably a few dead flies around here, but probably. You got another one? Uh, alcohol, pretty good quick fix. Sad. Just forget about Just it. Just forget about it with some alcohol. How do you forget it's, about it's, things? It's a good. How do you boost forget about things? To forget about it. Start drinking. You want to have a little bit more fun at that party that you're nervous to go to? Start drinking. Just take, take a couple of little drinks. And, you know, maybe your confidence is a confidence boost. You want to celebrate? You have some fun. Celebrations. Having a good time. You want to start morning Alcohol. drinking, but you don't want to look like an asshole with a beer in your hand at 7 a.m.? <laughs> Just drink it anyway. No, mimosas. Uh, okay. Okay. Champagne and orange juice. All right. Get a flask. Put some alcohol in there. It's gonna be short, by the way. What? You kill ten minutes? Maybe. Cause I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Drink it up. You know? Forget about things. Alcohol. Very good. I got drunk last night. Had a wonderful time. I woke up, I didn't hear you. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> Did he die? Is he Did he die from alcohol poisoning? Am I going to have to bury him out back? Maybe that's why there's so many flies. He probably died. Yeah. They're flying around my corpse. You're actually just uh, hallucinating this right now. I'm sorry. I hallucinate a lot, so it's all right. <laughs> you know what's uh, a fucking, you know what's a fucking click fix? Raid. This is uh this is the the episode where Demi Gloom finally has to stop being my friend. Uh, raid, this is my my quick fix. Raid, bug spray. Raid, that kills bugs on contact. You got bugs all over your house. You whip out that fucking can and you 
And they're done, son. That's it. You ain't got to worry about the problem anymore. You know, in a perfect world, you wouldn't have to run around and kill a bunch of bugs. But they're in my house. And they got to get out. I can't catch them. I just got to hit them with the... And this this revolutionary product just makes it so I hit them with the... And they're just gone. They're done. It's over. Problem solved. Easy solution to the problem. Quick fix. The quickest to fix. Raid. Just forget about them. I can spray them. And forget about them. Exactly. Yeah, that trumps <laughs> everything. You got, you got bugs, bugs in your house? Forget about them. Forget about them. Go eat some gummy bears. Sometimes there's too many. <laughs> hit them with the raid. And you can forget about them. <laughs> gummy bears. Yes, just like Maddie. Yeah, go, 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 go eat some gummy bears. bears. You got fruit flies? Go eat some gummy bears. You'll be alright. Go eat some nice, tasty gummy bears. Go stream as a banana and forget about your fruit flies. Tasty gummy bears. All right, everybody. We we got a couple minutes to fill. So I think I have to do something here. Something that will, uh, you know, something about this stream that I'm sure people, something about this episode that I'm sure is upsetting people is that they're not getting to hear from any other members of the issue crew. It's just me and then oh, Alex oh, is Jim here. Jr. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to, the audio always comes in fuck. I have to patch in <laughs> another member of the issue crew. Hello, Jinji. What's your quick fix? Oh shit! You're doing fucking. Well, uh, give me a minute. Okay, but we're not in the call. Just say a quick fix, real quick. This is a, I'm doing it with Alex. We're being stupid. Give us your dynamite drop in of a quick, quick fix. Finding random money on the ground. Ooh, that's a good one. Didn't that happen to you yesterday, Alex? I found, I found 10, 10 bucks on the ground, yeah. Hell yeah. And I have a cute story to that, too. Please uh, tell us, Jinji. So, uh, a couple months ago, I was, you know, walking around the park, you know, playing Pokemon Go with, with my Alex, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, he came across a dollar that was on on the grounds, you know, well, whoopee, you know, cool. Um, attached to this park, and the more I talk, Jesus Christ, it hurts more. Um, attached to the park, there was a veterans memorial, and Alex saw that on some of the, the gravestones that there were coins, you know, like dimes, nickels, quarters. Do you, do you know what that means, by the way? I don't. What does it mean? Uh... Penny on a veteran's gravestone means that they uh, served with them. I think a nickel means they were in the same battalion. A dime means they were in the same division or something like that. But a quarter means that they were there with that soldier when that soldier died. Oh, interesting. So it's incredibly like sentimental. And Alex was trying to put his dollar on that gravestone. And I had to tell him, like, no, buddy, you can't. This is This is why... The coins are there. It's sweet that you want to. Yeah, you know, they, they maybe they need a candy bar in a heaven convenience store and you just hand them a dollar, you know? Fuck, I died and my wallet was at home. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, right, Jim, you feel better soon. I hope your toothache goes away. You know, funnily enough, it's not the tooth that I thought it was. It's uh, the gum area around the tooth that's now infected Ooh. so i need to i need to wait for my fucking id card to come in the mail so i can go get some antibiotics well uh good luck to you Jinji. thank you for calling in not a problem Jinji's gonna get his mouth cut out i got nothing what if Jinji? what if Jinji can't podcast anymore because they cut his vocal cords out no, he'll be fine. <laughs> he'll become like the new Stephen Hawking of podcasting. <laughs> Hello, I am Jinji. I went to the park to play Pokemon Go this week. Pokemon's there. And I know it's not good for an audio medium, but I have a picture of this shiny Pokemon that I have obtained. Would you all like to see it? <laughs> all right, I think that's it.
Thank you for listening to The Issue Crew. Alex, where can listeners find you? Uh, You can find me and Riley over on Detour Ahead, patreon.com slash Detour Ahead, D-E-T-O-U-R-A-H-E-A-D. You can find us over on the Dickheads Podcast, D-I-C-K-H-E-A-D-S. Podcast. You can find that on the Riley Podcast Mega Feed. And you can find me at linktr.ee slash Riley Cinematic Universe. It is a convenient collection of links of all the things that I've ever done in the whole wide world on the internet that you can consume for your viewing and listening pleasure. Go there, click on stuff. You won't regret it, probably. And thank you all for listening to The Issue Crew. My quick fixes were... Let's find out, because I did a bunch of them. Uh, My quick fixes were... Dogs, traveling, ice pops, alcohol, and raid. I had shoes. Shoes. Pokemon. Yep. Pokemon. Duct tape. True. And just forget about it. Forget about it. And just that's it. forget about it. Oh, just forget about it specifically? Yes. The important part? Okay. There we go. You got a problem? Just forget about it. Just forget about it. And forget about us until we come back next week, folks. See you later.